SQA Higher Maths Recurrence Relations topic, lesson number two. Uh, we're just going to look at generating a recurrence relation from a given problem and using that to calculate what we're asked to do. So in lesson one, we were linking national five maths, for example, a percentage problem when you're getting a 5% percentage increase for four consecutive years. We looked at modeling that with a recurrence relation rather than doing it the way we've done in National 5. So here we're just going to go one step further and generate a slightly different type of recurrence relation. So at present, example two, at present, just after the high tide, a harbour has one metre of silt. A dredger removes 70% of the silt between high tides, but each tide deposits an extra 1.2 metres of silt. Write down a recurrence relation to model the depth of the silt after n tides. So what's happening? They see the tide's coming in, depositing some silt, then a dredger comes along, removes 70% of that silt. When the tide goes out, then it comes back in again, deposits more silt, a dredger comes along, removes it. So recurrence, so this is recurring time and time again, that's why it's a recurrence relation. So if the dredger removes 70% of the silt, there'd be 30% of it left. So after the next tide, there'll be 30% of what was originally there, plus that 1.2 metres of silt that is deposited. So we're only looking at what is remaining, not what has been taken away. Again, 70% has been removed, 30% is remaining. So on the next tide, there'll be 30% of the last tide, plus 1.2 metres. And that is the amount of silt that we're working out. So that is our recurrence relation because it's linking the next tide to the last tide. So part B, find the depth after five tides. So we know initially there is one metre of silt. So our U0, our initial value is one. So U1 will be 0 0.3 times U0 plus 1.2. Again, N plus one is the next one. N is the current one. So U0 is the current one to start with. So that'll be 0 0.3 times 1 plus 1.2, which is 1.5. So after that first tide, there's one and a half meters of silt. And again, 30% of it remains when 70% is removed. Then the tide comes in again and deposits another 1.2 meters. So U2 will be 0 0.3 times U1, which is 1.5 plus 1.2. Then just repeating that for U3, U4, and U5, you get U5 to be 1.72 meters. Now, if we have a look at these values, we're going from 1.2 to 1.5 to 1.65, 1.69, 1.71, 1.72. It looks as though those values are getting smaller and smaller, as if it's moving towards a certain value, a certain depth of silt in the harbor. We'll learn about that in lesson number three. So have a go at these questions here from the Heinemann textbook.